With the NFL Combine just over two weeks away, NFL hopefuls across the country are pushing themselves to the limit in order to achieve their ultimate goal of making it to the NFL. Now, only the best of the college crop get the invite to test their skills at the Combine, and that includes the heart and soul of the Colorado Buffaloes, linebacker Nate Landman. It's not a heck of a shot. Oh, that's just who that Landman. was. Yep. Holy smokes. Nate Landman is like a heat-seeking missile. I want to be an all-pro linebacker and, um, you know, a franchise linebacker. In five years at the University of Colorado, Nate Landman became a star, a high caliber player with all the tools to get to the next level. Watching him in college, you know he's a football player. I mean, he, he looks the part, um, he has a size, he moves well. You know, I think he's very intuitive. You can tell he's a very intelligent young man. During the shortened 2020 season, Landman terrorized the opposition to the tune of 61 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, and five sacks in just five games. Probably one of my best years. Um, and definitely had a thought about um, going to the next level and not coming back. Everything was lining up for Landman to take the next step in his football career until disaster struck. Very unhappy, slamming his hands in the turf right now. In that last game against Utah, I, when I did turn my Achilles, a super emotional moment. Um, and kind of when it happened, everything fa you know, flashed through my mind. Luckily with Goat, I had another chance to come back. and. Um, I'm glad I did, and it was definitely the best thing for me. Landman is now in his next chapter, attacking his combine prep at Lando Performance and taking on the challenge with the same fire and intensity he put into every brutal tackle made on Saturdays. Each day is different. Um, you know, you're trying to get better at one thing each day, and um, as long as you stay present in that one day and try not to look, you know, a month ahead because that's not going to do you any good. Um, you focus on getting better each day, and uh, that's kind of what you do in football. So we've been. You know, I've learned that throughout the years of college and just focusing on that day and the uh, end outcome will come out how you want it to. The training is intense. Landman is in the gym six days a week because he's only got a few short months to prepare for the test of a lifetime. It's a very finite window in terms of what they need to learn and how, when they need to get it done. They have to learn it very quickly, and they all know kind of when it's, what's at stake. Landman has leaned on some former teammates like Davion Taylor, as well as the team at Lando, to help navigate a process that is going to have a massive impact on the rest of his life. I definitely talked to them when they were going through this process, and um, they said it's a grind, and you know, just to keep your head down and focus, and you gotta just you know, grind for those couple months, and it's the biggest job interview of your life. And, um, they said there's great parts and there's hard parts, but it, you know, if you get through it and come out in the end, it's great. How ready do you feel like uh, he is for the combine? Oh, he's ready, yeah. He's ready. When, when you say that, like, what gives you confidence? Um, his confidence. We will continue to follow Nate's journey to the NFL over the next couple months and bring you an inside look at the tremendous work he is putting in, as well as some other unique aspects of his incredible journey.